As some of you know, I spent over 30 years pastoring in a local church here in the UK. 30 years in the trenches of local church leadership, especially in an unchurched country like England. Since I stopped doing that in about 2011, I have traveled all over the world, helping churches, helping leaders, helping staffs grow and evolve. And I now do mentoring one-on-one -on -one with lots of pastors around the world. And the thing that most commonly comes up that I want to talk to you all about on a live Zoom teaching and Q&A coming up the end of May is we're not taking care of our mental and emotional health in ministry. No one told me that, so I f suffered because I'm taking care of everybody else except me. And great leaders lead and feed themselves first. So we've got something to give away. So we've got something that's working in us before we try and export it to other people. So I didn't do good in self-care. Maybe you're not either. And so burnout and anxiety and stress and ill health mentally and emotionally and physically eventually often becomes the norm in the trenches of local church ministry. And it doesn't need to be that way. There is a new idea. There is a new way of doing this. And there's a new breed of leaders coming up that need us and my generation to speak to them from what we learned to pass on to them so that they don't think doing what we did and how we did it is the only way to do it. We've modeled, some, we've modeled some things very badly to the emerging generation in the church and I want us to model something new and fresh and better and different from the vantage point certainly that I have now to speak back into the church world from that wisdom I've gained. And so on the 22nd of May, I wanna to speak to you all on a live Zoom and Q&A about what I want to pass on to you. I'm in the space now of legacy. I'm going to speak to you about legacy. What are you passing on? I want to speak to you about how I transitioned from local church pastoring to what I've done now for almost 15 years all over the world, having a ball in what I do now, how I did that transition, what are the things I learned during transition that I want to pass on to you guys that are also perhaps in a transitional space in your life and ministry and calling. I think it's going to be a really, really important hour or so together I'd love you to join me. It's free. I'm 67 now. And I want to have uh, an opportunity to at least say some things to all you beautiful humans that are loving people through the local church in your leadership role there. Let me say something to pass something on to you that maybe can help you avoid some of the pitfalls I fell into and not have to reinvent the wheel like I kept doing because no one helped me in a way I want to mentor, coach, and help you guys. Details are gonna be uh, coming with this post you can sign up to be there with me on the 22nd of May. Love you guys. Take care. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.